had traveled to meet Mrs. Goodwin. I hated myself. But maybe, if I confront her, maybe I could find peace of mind. Deception. <laughs> Hello. Anyone there? I'm here to see Mrs. Goodwin. Speaking of service. Snow. No wonder these folks are so absent. Uh huh. Whatever. Can I get past, please? No point. He's sleeping like a he's sleeping like a rock. All right. Go ahead and save it. Let's go in the dark room. <laughs> Nursing home basement. I thought I heard something. Hey kid, could you do an old man a favor? Sorry, who are you? Janitor Carpenter at your service. My name's Price, nice to meet you. And sure, what do you need? I was in the middle of something, but then the electricity went off. I'm guessing the circuit breaker tripped. There's a fuse box near the kitchen. Could you check the fuses over there? I guess I'm not in a hurry, so why not? Thanks, kid. I got a key. I'll let you borrow my key. Tell no one. Alright, I'll be right back. Had to figure out where the kitchen is. I guess over here, the double doors. Nope, just the hallway. There's no keyhole. Oh. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Potatoes. Haha, <laughs> refuse. I shall not cook anything. No. Potatoes. My skills are going to waste. I refuse. I need better ingredients. Guess we found the kitchen. It would be nice to have some meat every now and then. You know, human meat. Go away, get lost. The janitor gave me this key. I don't care. I unlocked the door. Did I really find in the, the right room? <laughs> this must be the fuse box. Let's see. Really? Alright, this will take a while. <laughs> Got it. Alright, the electricity should be back on. Now, just to find that guy again, I guess. Or do I even have to? Yep, I didn't see that. <laughs> Alright, now I'm back to the dark room. Hey. Hey. Ah, oh, thanks, kid. Electricity is back on. What the hell are you doing? I'm disposing of this corpse. Corpse? Who is that? Just some oldster. He died a few days back. It's cheaper this way. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> What's that? Um. No, um, I'm gonna throw up. At any moment now. Piles of guts, body fluids, and blood. This will have to do. You found some bloody meat. Oh no. <laughs> well, I was right about the human meat. Game saved, whatever that means. Well, I guess there's no turning back once you give somebody human meat. I happen to come across this fine piece of beef. Do you think it could be suitable for your purposes? Let's take a look. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Thank you, young, young master. <laughs> I'll start cooking this right away. My pleasure. What? 
Can we just find like Mrs. Goodwin? Is there anything else in here? Alright, that wasn't great. Bathroom, alright. Don't need to wash my hands. Are you sure? You just like gave that guy human meat. What is this program? I better just leave it. Nah, do I talk to this guy again? Nope, apparently not. God, that, that's probably where she's at behind these bars. There's no way I can get past that. Anyone there? No answer. Uh, I guess that guy's still down there. Okay, can't talk to that guy. Hello? Anyone there? Alright, can't go that way either. Little lost at this point. I have prepared a beautiful dish. Finally, these people will get the food they deserve. Speaking of that, I'm here to see Mrs. Goodwin. Can I take the food to her? Sure, kid, take this to her. Thank you, chef. And where is she? She the one with the weird TV. I'm not confident that would work. <laughs> Did someone order food? I guess not. Smell the food? No? Alright. <laughs> Room service? Well, sort of. Do you bring food? I'm hungry. Yes. Can I come in, please? Please do. I'm not keeping up the voices. <laughs> not that I'm doing voices, really. You're not Mrs. Goodwin. Oh, I'm afraid you got the wrong room, dear. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound rude. Here's the food. Thank you, dear. Well, I'll get going. <laughs> it's been a long time since anyone came to see me. I'm sorry. I think it was two months ago. My grandchild came to see me. I really need... But I haven't heard from him since. Though I believe he got married lately. That's nice to hear. But the girl, what was her name again? Was it Helen? I wouldn't know. No, I believe it was Helga. That's nice. But I'm up. Her father got his ankle broken. I wonder if he's alright now. I'm sure he is. Well, take care now. It has been awfully windy lately. Fall is going to come early this year. Yeah. I'm sorry, madam. I really, really need to get going now. Oh. There I go, rambling on again. I understand you must be going now. Please take this for listening to my nonsense. Got a cowbell. Awesome. Thank you, madam. I wish you well. What's this? I'll wake this guy up, I guess. Wake up! Finally! What's him? Oh, whoa, I can't wake him up. 
I would need divine powers to do that. Okay. Open sesame. <laughs> Can't believe that didn't work. I gotta hold this cowbell. I was thinking maybe you could find it useful. That's nice of you. But I already have a bell to call the staff. Think so. No worries. Maybe I use it at the reception or deception desk. It'll take me half a minute to get over there. Service, please. Finally. I know. Listen, there's a door behind these the bars. <laughs> I think I left my wallet there. So? Oh, uh, um, that's a yes, I'll take it. Perfect, I suppose. Okay. I don't need to call her with the bell anymore. I guess I can go there now. It didn't really say anything. She has her hands full with the flower. Oh, man. I wonder how long she has been here. These people are treated like cattle. I don't think she needs the flower anymore. I'll take it to Mrs. Goodwin. I still don't even know where she's at. The door won't budge. to leave the cowbell there apparently don't know why it's a wardrobe this might come in handy you found a hanger Poking him with the hanger seems rude. Hmm. A TV, I guess. <laughs> I think I could bend this hanger to act as an antenna. Huh, it worked. I'm a genius. Ken Badock is airing. <laughs> Alright, finally got the door open. This has got to be where Mrs. Goodwin is. But before I enter, I'll find her a flower. It is a polite thing to do, after all. Mrs. Goodwin, this is Price. Can I come in? I'm here. Come in, please. Alright, I'm hoping this is like the final thing. I was nervous and afraid. I didn't know what to expect. Maybe she would blame me. I was concerned about her well-being. I felt guilty and ashamed. I brought you a flower. How are you, Mr. Goodman? Oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you, dear. I'm delighted you came to see me. Of course, madam. I still feel horrible for taking over your home. I shouldn't have done that. Stop it, young man. You shouldn't blame yourself. Thank you, Mrs. Goodwin. That means a lot to me. But still, can I do something for you? Anything at all? No, I have no one. I just wanted to see a familiar face before I'm gone. Madam, you don't deserve this. I'm just a spineless scallywag. But let me make this right. You can move to my place. I'll take care of you. It's not much, but anything beats this. Oh. You're such a polite young man. But I can't do that, dear. You have your own life and things to take care of. Me? I'm old. I won't be around for too long. Madam, don't say that. No, listen to me. Don't you blame yourself, young man. Besides, soon I will get to see my husband again. Madam, I will come to see you every week. You can always call me if you want to talk. 
Thank you.